In the chronicles of Australian Gold Rush history, few stories are as remarkable as the discovery of the Holterman Nugget. This name is a little misleading as it's actually a gold specimen, but I'll get into that soon. It was unearthed in 1872 and this incredible mass of gold is renowned not only for its sheer size but also for the determination and perseverance of the man who discovered it. Named after one of its discoverers, Bernard Otto Holterman, this gold enriched quartz specimen is considered one of the largest ever found and its story is interwoven with the hardships and hopes of the Australian goldfields. The Holterman Nugget was found during a time when the world was gripped by gold fever. In Australia, the 1850s and 1860s were characterised by a frenzy of gold prospecting, with people from all over the world flocking to the newly discovered goldfields in search of fortune. The lure of gold promised a better life for those who could find it, drawing in a diverse range of individuals, from experienced miners to ambitious immigrants hoping to strike it rich. The Holterman Nugget, while often referred to as a nugget, differs significantly from the Welcome Stranger Gold Nugget in its composition and form. The Welcome Stranger, discovered in 1869, was a massive true gold nugget, weighing 72 kilograms of nearly pure gold. In contrast, the Holterman Nugget was not a pure nugget of gold, but rather a massive slab of quartz infused with veins of gold, weighing 286 kilograms in total. This distinction is important because a true nugget typically refers to a piece of naturally occurring pure or nearly pure gold, while the Holterman Nugget was a gold embedded in quartz rock. Therefore, the Holterman Nugget is better described as a gold-bearing specimen rather than a traditional gold nugget like the Welcome Stranger. By the late 1860s, many goldfields in Australia were beginning to show signs of exhaustion. The initial rush had resulted in a massive amount of gold being extracted, and many miners were finding it increasingly difficult to make a living. However, some regions were still yielding rich deposits, and Hill End, located in New South Wales, was one such place. This small mining town became the backdrop for one of the greatest discoveries in the history of gold mining. Hill End was a bustling town during the gold rush, full of miners hoping to uncover hidden veins of gold. The town itself had humble beginnings, but soon grew into a vibrant community due to its proximity to the rich goldfields. In particular, the Hawkins Hill Reef, which ran through the area, proved to be especially lucrative. Many miners staked claims along this reef, hoping to extract the gold that lay hidden beneath the surface. Among those working at Hawkins Hill was Bernard Otto Holterman, a German immigrant who had arrived in Australia in 1858. Like many others, Holterman was drawn to the country by the promise of wealth that the gold rush offered. Born in Hamburg, Germany in 1838, Holterman arrived in Australia as a young man with little more than ambition and a desire to make something of himself. He initially worked as a labourer and a storekeeper, but the goldfields soon beckoned, and he ventured to Hill End. Holterman's path to success, however, was not an easy one. For years, he struggled to find gold facing numerous setbacks and disappointments along the way. But Holterman was not one to give up easily, and in 1868, his persistence finally began to pay off. He partnered with a fellow miner, Ludwig Hugo Bayers, and together they started working a claim on Hawkins Hill. Their partnership would soon become legendary. Holterman and Bayers had been working their claim for several years before they made their remarkable discovery. By the early 1870s, the duo had already found significant amounts of gold but nothing could prepare them for what lay ahead. On October 19, 1872, Holterman and his team were deep underground in the Star of Hope mine, painstakingly following a narrow vein of gold-bearing quartz. As they dug deeper, they uncovered a massive slab of quartz and gold, unlike anything they had ever seen. The sheer size of the find was astounding. The nugget, or rather specimen, weighed an astonishing 630 pounds, or 286 kilograms, but it wasn't just a single mass of gold. Rather, it was a gold-infused slab of quartz, measuring more than 1.5 meters long. It contained an estimated 3,000 ounces of pure gold, making it one of the largest gold finds in history. Upon its discovery, the men quickly realized that this find would change their lives forever. Holterman, in particular, saw the nugget as a symbol of his perseverance and belief in the potential of the Australian goldfields. After years of hard work and near failure, he had finally achieved the success he had dreamed of. 
The discovery of the Holtemann Nugget was not just a stroke of luck, but the result of the unique and complex geological forces at work beneath the surface of Hill End. Beneath the town's quiet exterior lies the Hill End Trough, a 70 km wide deep marine basin composed of layers of late Silurian to Middle Devonian sandstones, siltstones and shales. These rock layers, deposited by ancient turbidity currents in a submarine fan environment, were later subjected to intense tectonic activity. During the Tabarabaran and Canimbalan orogenies, east to west compression caused the formation of tight north to south trending folds, including the prominent hill end anticline. Gold bearing fluids, driven by this tectonic activity, seeped into the fractures and bedding planes of the rock, precipitating gold within the quartz veins that formed parallel to these beds. This flectral slip folding created ideal conditions for gold mineralization, concentrating the gold in bedding parallel quartz veins, particularly within weaker shale layers. Later, during the Canimblan orogeny, steep reverse faults cut through these existing structures fracturing the quartz veins and creating high-grade gold shoots. The intersection of bedding parallel veins with these late-stage faults proved to be the key to localizing rich gold deposits, such as those found at the Reward Mine. It was these geological processes, operating over millions of years, that enabled the formation and eventual discovery of extraordinarily rich specimens like the Holtemann Nugget. The specimen's immense size and richness were not mere happenstance, but an indication to the dynamic geological history of the Hill End Goldfield. Gold mineralization at Hill End occurred in two major phases. The first phase took place during the initial folding event, where gold-bearing fluids were concentrated in bedding parallel veins, forming what are known as saddle reefs, arch-like structures in the hinges of folds. These veins are laminated and contain quartz, muscovite, chlorite, carbonates, peridotite and pyrite, with gold sporadically distributed in association with these minerals. However, this phase of mineralization often resulted in sub-economic gold concentrations. The second, more significant phase of gold mineralization occurred when steeply west-dipping reverse faults intersected the existing quartz veins during the Canimbalan orogeny. These faults created brittle fractures within the quartz veins, allowing for the precipitation of high-grade gold shoots in these fractures. The gold in this phase was often associated with base metal sulfides, such as galena and sphalerite, which were introduced by mineralizing fluids traveling along the fault zones. This structural control of gold mineralization explains the formation of high-grade gold shoots at the Reward Mine in Hill End, where late-stage faulting intersected the bedding parallel veins, forming localized zones of rich gold deposition. In comparison to other gold deposits in the Lachlan Fold Belt, such as those in Victoria, Hill End's mineralization is unique due to the early flattening of folds and the localized reactivation of bedding parallel veins by later reverse faulting. This combination of early fold related mineralization and later fault controlled high grade shoots sets Hill End apart geologically and highlights the complexity of its gold bearing structures. Speaking of success, running a business means juggling multiple tasks, from managing sales and inventory to handling finances and customer relationships. That's why I'm excited to partner with Odoo, the all-in-one business management software that simplifies and streamlines everything in one place. Whether you're a small startup or an established enterprise, Odoo offers customizable modules that fit your needs perfectly. From accounting and CRM to e-commerce and project management, one of the things I love about Odoo is its approach to a free-for-life membership for your first app. Odoo's strength lies in its flexibility. With a huge range of apps in one convenient site, you can start with just the essential tools, and as your business grows, you can easily integrate more modules to match your evolving needs. Plus, with Odoo's user-friendly interface, it's easy to get your team up and running, making your operations smoother and more efficient. Best of all, it's only $34.40 per month for access to all of their apps. Before I was a geology content creator, I was an avid e-commerce seller and I wish I had Odoo back when I started to take the hassle out of learning to create compelling websites. With Odoo's e-commerce platform, setting up sleek and professional online stores has never been easier. If you're ready to take your business to the next level and have all your tools in one integrated platform, Odoo is the perfect solution. Check out the link in the description to learn more and see how Odoo can transform the way you manage your business. Alright, let's get back into it. The Holtemann Nugget created a sensation both in Australia and abroad. News of the discovery spread like wildfire, and Holtemann and Bayers became instant celebrities. 
Miners from across the region flocked to Hill End in hopes of finding similar fortune, and a town experienced a renewed gold rush. Despite its incredible value, the Holtman Nugget was never kept intact. Gold at the time was unfortunately not valued for its aesthetic or historical significance, as it might be today, and the Nugget was soon broken down to extract the gold. The quartz was crushed and the pure gold was separated, with Holtman and Bayers reaping the financial rewards of their discovery. It is said that Holtman's share of the proceeds from the Nugget and other finds made him a very wealthy man. But Holtman was more than just a miner. He had a deep interest in photography and an eye for documenting the world around him. Using his newfound wealth, he turned his attention to capturing the life of the goldfields through photography. He commissioned a series of large format photographs, many of which depicted the bustling town of Hill End and its miners. These photographs remain some of the most significant visual records of Australia's Gold Rush era, and are still admired today for their historical value and artistic quality. Holterman's most famous photograph is a panoramic view of Sydney taken in 1875 from a tower he had built at his residence in North Sydney. The image is remarkable not only for its technical brilliance but also for its sweeping scope, capturing the rapidly growing city in unprecedented detail. Holterman's photography collection provides a unique window into 19th century Australia, and is regarded as one of the most important photographic archives of the era. The story of the Holterman Nugget remains one of the most extraordinary tales of the Australian Gold Rush. It stands as a demonstration to the fortune that could be made in the goldfields, but it also highlights the determination and persistence required to succeed. Holterman's discovery was the culmination of years of hard work, and his success is a reminder that in the unpredictable world of gold mining, perseverance often pays off. The Nugget itself may no longer exist, but its legacy lives on. The discovery of the Holtman Nugget played a crucial role in keeping the gold fever alive in New South Wales at a time when many believed that the best days of the gold rush were over. It rekindled interest in the region's gold fields and contributed to the ongoing development of towns like Hill End. Today Hill End is a popular tourist destination, known for its rich gold rush history and its well-preserved 19th century buildings. Visitors can explore the remnants of the Gold Rush era and learn about the remarkable stories of the men and women who sought their fortunes in the Australian outback. The story of Bernard Otto Holterman and the discovery of the Holterman Nugget is a central part of this history, capturing the imagination of those who visit the town. Beyond the goldfields, Holterman's legacy also lives on in the field of photography. His collection of images continues to be celebrated for its historical importance, providing a rare glimpse into life in 19th century Australia. Holterman's passion for documenting his surroundings has left an indelible mark on Australian history, preserving the memory of the gold rush for future generations. In conclusion, the story of the Holterman Nugget is not just about gold. It's about human resilience, vision, and the pursuit of dreams. Bernard Otto Holterman's journey from struggling immigrant to wealthy gold miner and photographer exemplifies the spirit of the Australian gold rush era. His discovery of the Holtman Nugget remains a symbol of the incredible riches that the goldfields offered, and a reminder of the transformative power of perseverance and ambition. I hope you found this topic as interesting as I did. And don't forget to check out our sponsor Odoo, who made this video possible. And as always, thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.